Hello, Barbary Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Barbary Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And I know with everything that is going on in Salt Lake City, that's all you want to hear. And don't worry, there are more tea from Salt Lake City that I will be spilling later. But right now, we need to come back to Orange County a little bit because we have some tea related to um, Miss Gina Kirschenheit and some of the ladies that we definitely need to discuss. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thing bottom right here. And let's talk about this uh, mess. Hey, Dios mío. No. Is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Well, I mean, Real Housewives of Orange County is kind of like finally taking some kind of form. Even though, I mean, I am not really happy with what they have been doing so far. Um, as you know, casting wise, Heather Dubrow is back, Shannon Bedore is back, and Jennifer Armstrong and Noella Bergener are out. And in the middle, which we don't know what is going to happen, is Emily Simpson and Gina Kirshenheit. Uh Some people say that Gina has been demoted to a friend of the show, but we haven't really heard any um, official news so far. Also, a lot of rumors going around saying that finally Tamara Judge is actually returning to OC with Alexis Bellino. Actually, the other day, uh, I saw a leak of allegedly Vicky Gumbelson sending a text message to uh, Tamara Judge, basically saying that if she wants to return to OC, that she will be okay with it and that she will not be feeling jealous of it uh, at all okay let's say that we're gonna believe that Vicky is not gonna be jealous of Tamara Judge returning okay but anyways um we have been talking about this for a while I mean I I agree with Jennifer Armstrong because like okay whatever bye you know but Noella it's a big no-no on my book. I will keep defending Noella the same way that I keep defending Elizabeth Vargas. I feel that they have so much to offer. I feel that uh, Noella literally carried last season. Like She was the only one who actually created drama last season, you know, like who actually uh, made the show interesting. The only one who... You know, confront Heather Dubrow. She wasn't up Heather's ass, you know. And uh, she was not lying. She was telling the truth, confirmed by Tamara Judge and Kelly Dodd, that Heather Dubrow, in fact, assaulted uh, the producer that was also fired from the show. Okay? Like, let's just say, um, Evolution Media is protecting the wrong people, you know? Uh it is what it is. I don't think there's going to be any way back. Um, a lot of people, I mean, you know, Noella was not the most like housewife, you know, because she has that shocking factor. But at the same time, now that she's fire, a lot of people are coming to her defense because now we know that it is not fair. OK, she was not lying about the producer she was not lying about heather dubrow okay but anyways i don't think that is going to change anytime soon it is what it is noella herself put the the news out there same way with jennifer it is what it is right so talking about now um miss gina kershenheit okay there are these rumors going around that she is violating the uh, court decisions that were made upon Travis Kitts. Now, if you remember, Gina Kirshenheit was just accused of domestic violence. She went from being the victim to being the attacker. And according to legal documents at the time, uh, the kids were present when Gina was having an argument with Travis, their dad, 
and she went crazy and she pushed Travis down the stairs, okay? They were so scared that they went to their mom and they didn't want to come back to uh, Gina's casita, okay? Now, after a lot of fights and a lot of like legal things, you know, the mom just wanted to make sure that everything was going okay. She actually like started some kind of like investigation because the kids actually said that Gina and Travis fight a lot. Okay. Uh, apparently, after the investigation, like nothing really was conclusive. So the kids will have to come back even though they don't want to spend time with their dad or the crazy new girlfriend you know uh they were basically pushed to keep doing it now part of this agreement that they have between travis and the biological mother of this kid was that uh not gina or travis should be posting any pictures of their kids on social media because they are public figures and they don't want the kids to be exposed to, you know, what public figure it brings, right? So she, the mom on her right was like, I don't want any pictures of my kids out there. Well, guess what? Gina was like, mm, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. No, no. You know, and she has been posting pictures like crazy uh, about these kids or with these kids. You know, I have actually the little part here. It says photograph of the minor children shall not be posted on father's significant other Gina Kirshenheit. Um unless the social media account is only accessible to close friends and family. Well, Gina's uh, social media is definitely public to all the uh, Real Housewives of Orange County fans and haters, okay? And she just doesn't care, and she keeps posting pictures of her with the kids i don't know what is her goal i don't know what she's trying to prove at the end of the day those are not your kids okay and the mother has the right to do whatever the fuck she wants and you just have to respect her orders all right and especially if there is core documents indicating that you have to do that now i don't know if the mom is gonna take any legal actions against gina for breaking that i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see i think honestly this is just another reason to not bring her back i mean maybe she doesn't even consider consider herself a public figure so why should we consider her a public figure at this point so that's it guys that's the tea let me know what you guys think on the comments below should gina respect the mother wishes should gina just keep doing whatever the fuck she wants let me know and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye